Hey everybody, um, I know this is kind of a unusual update here for the channel, and of course the wrong logo. I can't seem to find the logo I made, the new one I made for this channel. As you can see, this is actually my other channel's logo. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty much a little update for, uh, what's been going on with me kind of I would say over the last year I know I mentioned it on my opinion channel but honestly I cannot remember if I mentioned it here and it's still kind of hard to talk about guys but if you guys if I forgot to mention it, which is, hell, I'm getting old, so I'm forgetting a lot of things. May 11th, 2020. I lost someone very close to me. Not as close as my mother or my grandmother, but still very close. I lost one of my parents my dad he passed away around 6 30 in the evening um, I actually didn't get notified till about 7 p.m. my time it really didn't affect me like a hundred percent like I physically hurt I hurt emotionally a little bit um I did take some time off because it did hit me pretty hard emotionally um but I was able to get past that and I thought I was doing really good I thought I was you know moving on And everything was going pretty good. Until. I would say mid-December. Until I finally received his personal items. Which I will actually share with you guys here in the next scene. This is basically all I received from him. As you can see in the upper left hand corner is his burial flag. How I received it. Um, I am assuming that's how my family received it. Um, his sunglasses, his wallet, ornaments, some pens. Why my dad always had a thesaurus around beats me, but my dad did some weird things. Um, his personal effects when he went into the hospital and his urn which contains his ashes and then actually is sitting right next to me on my desk so he's always with me and when I got these effects I actually didn't open them till about two to three weeks later. I was extremely nervous and I knew I just had to work up the courage to actually do it. So I got home from work, used my knife to open them up, the boxes, and the first thing I opened was the first box which contained his burial flag. I slowly took it out and honestly I hugged it as tight as I could, collapsed to the floor and started crying like a baby for a good long time. It was then, in a sense, 
for at least one night, I completely lost it emotionally. It's, and since then, it fully hit me emotionally that he was gone. Like, I knew it. But I, I guess I really didn't accept it emotionally. And I didn't realize how it affected me on a level that I didn't fully understand. Me and my dad had issues, guys. Don't get me wrong. I did wish he was a lot more in my life, and that's one of the things I actually am thankful for the ex-Mrs. Goober. That's one of the things she actually did bring back to my life, was my father. When he found out I was getting married to her, he actually made it a point to speak to me on a regular basis. I mean, it was still like every few months, because the man would change phones faster than I changed numbers. And, yeah. I'm still actually struggling with his loss to this day, guys. It's even affected my other channel to a point where I used to literally post every week. And now it's more like once a month. Um, I am trying to get back into swings. I honestly just fell into such a dark hole and it's one of the few times guys I've actually dealt with this type of loss on my own. I've usually always had a girlfriend to help me through this but I don't. I, in a sense, have nobody. I mean, yeah, I can call my roommates, you know, hang out with them. Um, even Exorcist Goober has helped to a degree. But this is a loss I'm dealing with on my own, and it's tough. As the video I put out, I believe it was yesterday... I am bringing back the Rusty of Goober. At least for one episode. Because I need a really good, like, constant laughing guys to just try to push myself out of a funk that I've been sitting in for months. It's even affected me to the point where I put my schooling on hold, guys. And... Is I need to get out of this funk. I really do. Talking with a few old friends have helped. Uh, one in particular, she was a really good friend. Um, she doesn't know about my transition, at least I don't think she does, but that's kind of a conversation that uh, I might have with her soon know how good of a real friend she is or not. Um, hopefully she can understand why I haven't told her. Or maybe she knows and she just doesn't give a shit. Who knows. If you guys want to join the rope seating session on Friday, 2 p.m. my time, Mountain Standard Time, I would love to see you guys on the Cooper Opinion channel. Um, if you don't know the link uh, it's in the previous video in the description um, I will be recording a transition update right after this one and I love you all I hope everybody's good and toodaloo guys hope to see you all there